This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon, I'm Lucy Adeyemi. Several Congolese, Malian and Yemeni groups have been added to the United Nations annual blacklist of groups violating children's rights in wartime. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres voiced alarm at the sharp increase of violations. He says the number of children killed and maimed in Yemen remains unacceptably high, and those numbers have remained high in the first quarter of this year, as does the number of children recruited and used by armed forces and groups. A UN report says in the DRC, the Banamora militia committed rape, sexual abuse and kidnapping, while the Kamuna Nsapo militia recruited and used children on a large scale, attacked schools and hospitals. Morocco's foreign minister has told a meeting of the U.S.-led coalition on Tuesday, Africa is home to more than 10,000 jihadists from the Islamic State group and Al-Qaeda. He says Africa is among the most targeted zones whose vulnerabilities are exploited by the terrorists. U.S. President Donald Trump's special envoy in the coalition said the gathering allowed coalition members to share information to enable a network to protect the homeland, prevent fighters from crossing borders, and combat terrorism financing. He told the press briefing the coalition has put forward nearly $90 million for reconstruction programs in Syria and Iraq. We'll be back after this message from MTN. Are you sure you want to do this? Adam, go and bring us your husband. Okay. Hello, baby. We're in this together, okay? Can you hear me? Keep coming forward. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. <laughs> you okay, Lily? You're right. <laughs> Keep walking now. Keep walking to the left. Yes. You're almost here. Keep going. You are here. <laughs> wow, you did it. I'm just so glad I didn't have to use my cane to do this. And I am so glad no other man got you before me. Let me be your eyes. We will never stop working to give you a network you can rely on so you can enjoy life's special moments. MTN, everywhere you go. Norwegian aid workers said on Tuesday thousands of men, women and children made homeless by the Boko Haram insurgency risk disease because of lack of shelter in northeast Nigeria. The Norwegian Refugee Council said more than 4,000 people were having to sleep in the open in the town of Dikwa where they have fled military operations against the jihadists. Nigeria, which maintains the Islamist militants are virtually defeated, is encouraging internally displaced people, IDPs, to return to their homes as troops wind up operations but humanitarian organizations say towns outside the Bono state capital Medigree do not yet have the minimum standards of basic services to cope with the influx of so many people the United Nations said last week there were almost 2 million IDPs in Bono state and neighboring Yobe and Adamawa at the end of May that's ANN News Brief. Join us again at 5 for our full newscast. You can also join the conversation on Twitter handle at ANN Africa TV, Facebook ANN Africa TV. I am Lucy Adeemi.